All right, guys, we got a 2011 Honda Odyssey, and this is happening. That's right, it's the old fuel door. I think it's a fuel door actuator, right? This, this button, basically it's a safety, so if you hear that beeping and the sliding door won't open up, it's because... It's because, yeah, you have to unlock it manually, but it's because there's, I think, an actuator that's broken. We're going to try to tear this apart. I can't find any good videos for a 2011 Honda Odyssey, so I'm going to try to make my own so I can figure this out. Well, I decided to put the seat down because I felt like I wasn't going to be able to pull that out, so I folded it in. I don't think I'm going to need to pull I think I'm gonna be able to just pop it out I see the whole thing starting to move so I'm hoping <laughs> I can get lucky and gotta be careful of course like the cigarette lighters plugged in back there uh, so we'll see if I can fag let out I, that was actually way easier than I had hoped I just unplugged actually I didn't mean to but that came unplugged by itself uh, everything else looks okay and it just peels out of there the whole case now I'm gonna try to see if I can find where that part is. This is the part I bought from a, I think, Dallas Honda dealer. I just Googled it. Finally found the actual part number. I'll try to put it down in the description, but it's actually that right there. 74380TK8A01. This is, I believe, what I need to fix this. I think it went bad. I'm gonna say a little prayer and hope that does fix it. But this was extremely hard for about eight months they've completely been out of stock everywhere i don't know how i actually found this one but hopefully you can get lucky and just call around all right so there's a styrofoam piece here i popped that out i, I thought oh no i can't get to it but this is actually the piece i'm going to replace right here i just found it by looking at the new piece and it tucks back in here and look we can access it right there so maybe this won't be too bad So one quick note, I could already tell this is the problem because I saw someone's video. Look at this, how oh, it's loose. I'm so happy. I think this is gonna fix it. This part was like 30 bucks. All right, so pretty easily it just, you just twist this and it pops right out, the old one. Um, there you go, pretty easy, that came off relatively easy there's a little tab to push on the back side you'll figure it out so i'm just gonna put the new one on now so yeah look that new one doesn't wiggle at all it's definitely the problem it just broke so there's the old one so probably not worth trying to re trying to fix that it's not worth it so just buy a new one if you can find it so you're never gonna believe this but i was trying to fit that new one back or into the hole <laughs> Guess what? Since I disconnected it, guess what? The door actually works because that safety is gone. So I wish I would have known that a long time ago. This part's on back order, but you can actually just disconnect the old one and the door will work. Uh, the safety switch won't work, so if the door is open, it might cause a bigger issue later, but that's a little trick I wish I would have known. Um, so yeah, now let's try to see if we can finagle that thing new one in there. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That was actually, if I wouldn't have recorded and you know had a little bit of trouble, about a 15 minute job, honestly. Tearing the trim out and getting that out, and making sure I was being careful was, was probably the second hardest thing. The hardest thing was actually putting this end, this is the old one, putting this end in, you can see you have to line it up. It doesn't fit in there like I thought, but this little edge and this little edge, you'll see the indentations in the metal. But it actually works. I'm so surprised. I don't know why. It was just easier than I thought. Um, that's the old one, though. Good luck. I hope you can fix yours. I tested it opening the um, door, the fuel tank door and everything. It, it, The sensor works, and the door opens and closes. Yay! My wife is gonna be so happy. 
All right, I was able to put it back together without much issue at all. Everything popped back into place. I just pushed firmly all over. There's snaps in there you can't see, of course, but um, along the edges and everything seems to snug back up. So I'll put the trim back and we'll be good to go.